Hey Muppets Most Wanted, I liked you a lot. In fact, I'd go so far to say I liked you more than the Muppets. But wait, Michael, some of you might be thinking, you haven't put out a review for the Muppets. To which I replied, that is very correct, you are both smart and attractive. So let's rectify that real quick. When looking at it as a movie, the Muppets is quite enjoyable, but when looking at it as a Muppets movie, it's a little disappointing actually. You see, my main issue here is despite the fact that the movie's called The Muppets, we aren't with them a whole lot. In fact, when you break it down a bit, only one original song is exclusively given to the Muppets. The rest are shared, nostalgia throwbacks, or just given to Gary, Mary, or Walter. It's also really strange how this movie's supposed to be a celebration of the Muppets, yet so much of the time we're being told how old and forgotten they are. If you were looking for a hyperbolic comparison there, you could go so far to say that the Muppets is kind of that brand's Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Look at how feeble the Muppets are, and look, you've got a bastard character who's now canon. I mean, seriously, guys, how hard could it have been for Walter to have been completely replaced with either Fozzie or Gonzo? Then you've got a Muppet leading the charge to get the band back together, rather than adding another guitarist. That's not to say that there's not a good amount of humor in the Muppets, or that the songs aren't great, but there's a bit of a disconnect as what the film says it's trying to do and what it actually does. But those are my hyper-condensed thoughts on the Muppets. Time to address Muppets Most Wanted, shall we? But I'm thinking we should change it up a little bit, so... Muppets Most Wanted chronicles the exploits of the Muppets going on a world tour. However, their tour manager is in cahoots with the world's greatest jewel thief, who conveniently looks like Kermit. A switcheroo is performed, and while Kermit's sent to the gulag, the evil frog Constantine lets the Muppets loose on tour, so to speak, as he tries to steal the crown jewels. Now, I know I'm being a bit of a purist, but this plot is immediately more inviting to me because we're dealing with the Muppets almost the entire time. Yes, we're still suffering from songs being divvied out a little unevenly. Sorry, but I'm not counting Constantine as an actual Muppet, and he has two songs. But even then, these songs feel more, well, Muppety in every way. Structurally speaking, Muppets Most Wanted has a lot of pieces in play, but the film feels balanced, both in terms of character screen time and energies. The three humans in supporting roles are also all quite strong. Ricky Gervais is an absolute knockout, appearing completely at home in this Muppet world. Ty Burrell and Sam the Eagle have excellent chemistry, though I must admit, while I love Burrell, Part of me wishes that the role would have gone to a true Frenchman like Jean Dujardin. If you haven't seen him in OSS 117, I highly recommend it. Tina Fey, however, is a bit of a frustrating case. She's one of my favorite comedians, but she's not given a ton to do. But I guess that's the trade-off when you want it to really just follow the Muppets. I'll eat my words now. Nom 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 nom. While the Muppets felt like a bit of a midlife crisis for the brand, Muppets Most Wanted feels like a true return to their roots. It isn't relying so heavily on nostalgia but is plenty self-aware and certainly entertaining. So those were my thoughts on The Muppets and Muppets Most Wanted. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Which did you prefer more? Which is your favorite Muppets movie? And if you feel so inclined, you can check out other videos from me, like my review of Frozen or my movie talk with Alex and Kells from The Dex as we discuss Pokemon the first movie. And I'd like to give a very special thanks to Alex Kramer, who assisted with puppeting, and Dylan Smith, who made the puppet you saw in this video. If you want more from those two, along with the usual Facebook and Twitter stuff, check the links in the description. So comment, click, and keep loving movies, guys. As for me, I gotta finish this video. Oh god, I got all this footage that I need to put in and I gotta chroma key out the green. Oh, the lordy. Oh god, I got so many videos that I gotta make.